Hey guys, it's Amanda. I'm back with another comedy reaction, and the time has finally come. It's been on my list for ages. I'm going to watch Faulty Towers. Well, the best bits of it. Now, I love John Cleese, so I'm really looking forward to this. I honestly, I can't believe how long it's taken me to watch it. But here we are. Let me know, what is your favorite Faulty Towers bit? Put it in the comments. I didn't know you bet on the horses, Polly. Oh, I don't. Only I was in the town and I passed the betting shop and I thought, well, why not? Well, why not indeed, eh? Jolly good question, eh, dear? Well, you didn't let me put something on, really. Realize how much we would have won? 75 pounds for a five pound stake? Still, you know best. <laughs> Were they, Basil? Yes, that's right. They're 14 to 1. I listened in on the wireless just to make sure it had triumphed. Enjoy your winnings, Polly. Thank you. Polly? Yes, Mrs. Polly. What was the name of the horse? The name? Oh. <laughs> I've gone blank. <laughs> Bird brain. <laughs> no, 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 that came in third. Uh, the fish wife. What? <laughs> no, no, not the small. <laughs> well, you hired O'Reilly, didn't you? I mean, we all warned you. Who else would do something like this? I beg your pardon? You hired O'Reilly. Oh, I see. It's my fault, is it? Oh, of course. There I was thinking it was your fault because you'd be left in charge. Or Manuel's fault for not waking you. And all the time it was my fault. Oh, it's so obvious now. I've seen the light. Well, I must be punished then, mustn't I? You're a naughty boy. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on in that episode, but I'd like to know why there's the guy in the basket and also the blow up doll. I feel like that would be quite the interesting episode. <laughs> I'm afraid we could always do you sandwiches. Oh, I'd like a hot meal, really. Is there a, a restaurant near here? Uh, well, there's an awfully good little uh, Welsh place, Leak House, about five minutes walk. You'd have to go straight away. Oh, that'll do fine. Just turn left out of the gate and straight on, and it's on your right. <laughs> And blind. Uh, this is the view as far as I can remember, madam. Yes, yes, this is it. When I pay for a view, I expect something more interesting than that. That is Torquay, madam. No, it's not good enough. 
Well, may I ask what you were expecting to see out of a talky hotel bedroom window? <laughs> Sydney Opera House, perhaps? The hanging gardens of Babylon? Herds of wildebeest sweeping majestically? <laughs> I expect to be able to see the sea. You can see the sea. It's over there between the land and the sky. <laughs> I need a telescope to see that. Well, may I suggest that you consider moving to a hotel closer to the sea? Or preferably in it. Right. <laughs> now, listen to me. I'm not satisfied, but I've decided to stay here. However, I shall expect a reduction. Why? Because Krakatoa's not erupting at the moment? Or... <laughs> You're not an inspect. No. But not on the side. No. I swear to God. Yeah, I tell you, I've, I've nothing to do with oh, it. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I, don't know, I don't know how I... I can ever... <laughs> thanks, thanks. Uh, 26 bedrooms, 12 with private bathrooms. Yes, well, why don't you have dinner here and um, Chris and I can try the Claremont. OK. The other's one, Basil Fawlty. Good afternoon, gentlemen. And what can I do for you three gentlemen? Just about enough of this. Oh, Harry. How could you forget about it? Almost made me another Waldorf salad. Making another Waldorf salad? What are you making another Waldorf salad for? Now, oh, get me some more. I'm not here, Mr. Man. Well, what do you think, Mr. and Mrs. Hammond, if it's thing? With them. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hamilton, may I introduce Terry Hugh? Did you see him? Maybe he went to get something to eat. <laughs> What's the matter with you all? It's perfectly simple. We have the fire drill when I ring the fire bell. That wasn't the fire bell, right? Well, how are we supposed to know that wasn't the fire bell? Because it doesn't sound like the fire bell. <laughs> it didn't. It did. No, it didn't. The fire bell is a different... It's a semitone higher. A semitone. At least, anyway, the fire drill doesn't start till 12 o'clock. It is 12 o'clock. Well, it is now, but that's because we've been standing about arguing about it. Look, how on earth do you expect us to tell which bell is which? Oh. We haven't heard them yet, have we? You want to hear them? Right, suits me. Here's the burglar alarm. Ought we to catch them first? There aren't any. Then why don't the alarm be uh. going? All right, got that? Right. <laughs> What's happening now? Now, here's the fire bell, right? It's a completely different sound. Listen. <laughs> Well, where are you going? Well, there's a drill, isn't there? No, 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 no. This is so that you can hear the bell, so you know in a moment when I ring the bell. What are you doing? Will you come back? I'm going out tonight. No, just listen to it, you old fool. <laughs> listen to it. Fire, fire, everybody out, please. No! Fire. Will you shut up? Oh. No, will you shut up? It's fire. It's not fire, it's only bell. Oh. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm just showing them what the bell sounds like. Now, will you go in there? Go help Chef. <laughs> well, go and go and start the chip. <laughs> yes, when bells go, I get it stand. No fire, only practice. Tell him, Polly. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Perhaps I'm upstairs. What's happening now? <laughs> now. I've never seen anyone 
not laugh at that. Oh, hey! Look, she'll love it. She's German. <laughs> no, Mr. Walker. What? <laughs> Do Jimmy Cagney instead. What? Jimmy Cagney. Jimmy Cagney? You know, go dirty rat. I can't do Jimmy Cagney. Please try. I'm going to go. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, watch. Who's this then? <laughs> Stop you, my <laughs> They definitely save the best for last. The way he walked out of that room, just his legs, the way they were just, they were pointed so perfectly. He is absolutely brilliant. His delivery and his facial expressions are always, they're always on point. They're always perfect. Like how can one man be so talented? I can't tell you how many people have told me I need to watch Fault Towers, saying it's one of the greatest shows ever created. But I definitely feel like I need to watch full episodes, like those little snippets have drawn me in, and I have a feeling that I'd really enjoy the actual show. It just seems really funny to me. But where should I start? Presumably at the beginning, probably. But let me so, no, let me so. Let me so some of the best episodes. Well done! (laughs) Let me know some of the best episodes, and I'll check them out. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, smash that like button if that's what you're into, and I'll see you in the next video.